Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Set Lustling Bruce, your podcast all about Bruce Springsteen, his music, and mostly his fans. I have the pleasure of a return guest. Uh, Justin Cantor was with me just a few uh, weeks ago as I'm recording this, and he had so much fun. He emailed me and said, hey, is there any way I could come back and do songs of your life? And I went, absolutely, Justin. So, Justin, welcome back to the show. Glad to be back on the show, Jesse. Yeah, so... um, for those of you who may not have heard the earlier episode, uh, tell tell the audience a little about yourself. I'm 24 years old. I've been singing Springsteen in the East Street Band with my dad since the Magic Tour. And ever since then, I became a bigger Bruce fan and um, I have at least 92 different shows on CDs now. Very nice. And you're also a huge Yankee fan. I'm a huge New York fan. I'm even going to the Met game tomorrow night versus San Francisco. Very nice. I am going Saturday. The Houston Astros are in town. They're playing my Texas Rangers. And Joey Gallo is doing pretty good for you, uh, you guys up in New York. Yep. And so that's good to hear. Oh, I am great. Well, um, so Justin, uh, hang tight while I explain to the audience in case this is the first time they've um, been a songs of your life episode all good yes a um the sports station i listened to here in dallas um the ticket would every week have biggest band coming to town and that was an excuse for them they would discuss every band that's performing live over the next seven days and the different you know host and the the ticker guy and the producer would all debate and would vote on who's the biggest band coming to town. Well, during the pandemic, people stopped coming. And so they have like, okay, how do we do this? And they said, well, why don't we do bands of your life? And there was 11 different questions, all that had to be answered by bands, but you could not pick the same band for more than one question. And I really like that idea. And my son, Chris, is the one who said, well, you should do this as Springsteen themed. So I came up with songs of your life. So there, I'm going to ask Justin 11 questions. Um, all he's going to pick a Springsteen song to answer them, but he can only use one song one time. So a uh, great song to see live and song that I fell in love with can't both be Thunder Road. So that's where we go. And so we always start with the negative, Justin. So what is a song you do not like, hate, or you don't get? All right. Well, I chose this one, Mary, the Queen of Arkansas. I just never really cared for it, never understood it. Okay. It's a pop. I know that's probably a popular one. A lot of people don't are, don't or don't really get the song from what I see. Yeah. Um, and before I go on, did it did you know some answers right away, Justin, or did you have to think about this and do some research? Well, the question that I had to ask you what it meant. Yes. When I, I had the only one that I really wasn't sure, and that's why I had to ask for help. Because okay. I couldn't even know. It was a confusing one. I got it. Okay, well, good. All right, Mary Queen of Arkansas, that is a one I totally agree with, though I'm sure that the song has its fans. What is the song that you think is overrated, that, that other fans um, love and you aren't so sure of? It's another one I had to ask if it could be a song or cover. Um, sure. I happen to have chosen Shout, because it's just, it's just overplayed last tour. Yeah, you know, what's interesting, Justin, is, you know, my son went to his first show and on the way home, he's like, why shout? Is this a junior high, you know, dance? I mean, what, why is he doing shouts? So, uh, exactly. yeah. Quinton yeah. shout, though, you can do that numerous times and that never gets old. Right. Yeah, you I do. saw at a giant stadium once mm-hmm. and oh, wait, the Meadowlands is just a fun song 
Yeah, and not that Bruce needs us to tell him what to do, but you do think you could come up with three or four all these songs that they could rotate, you know, like different for for a change of pace. Yeah, and he never really changed it up. Even in right. Australia, he still closed with others, but you still had to put throw shout in there. Maybe once a couple times. Yeah, he didn't do shout, but not never out of the three shows I saw on that tour. Of course, it was shout. Okay, good. All right, song that is underappreciated. What's a hidden gem from your perspective, Justin? Personally, I'm listening to this all the time. I just even finished listening to a Devil of the Dust show this and show, and this song was played backing your arms. It's just something that I just love live. Never heard it, but from all the concerts I've listened to it, listened it on and recordings and from the tracks. When it was on, it's just something that says, oh, my God, this is amazing. Yeah. Very unappreciated song. Yeah, I'm right there with you. I love that song. I I just love the, you know, the idea. Because there's sometimes I've had a day where just life has kicked me in the butt all day long. And when I get home, I just feel like I just want to just lay in my wife's arms and just let her take all the pain away so yeah great choice great choice just, yep especially the one from live in live in dublin from when he was in dublin and from brisbane yeah on the valentine's day show that was just amazing that's how i fell in love with the song listening to live live stuff yeah great choice great choice all right song that you love Songs that I love, Gotta Be Drive All Night. That song just clicks me. As I told you last time, my favorite album ever is Drive the River. And if for the ones who haven't listened to it, the podcast of me saying the River album was my favorite, well, here you go again. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, Back in Your Arms to Drive All Night, a, a good duo, right? So that's that's really well done. Um, I love Drive All Night, too. Um, I have a great choice. Each question I answered, so I know where I am. Very good. Song, so, so, song that you can listen to over and over again. I chose If I Were the Priest from Letter to You. It's just a great song. Yeah. Um, yeah. In fact, I did that, Justin, when... Um, you know, the, the new CD came out, um, you know, I hit repeat on that song over and over again, was listening to it three or four times, just, just enjoying the way it was built and everything going together. So I think that is an excellent choice. Yeah, hundred percent. I even though when I knew it was a demo, I even had to go back to listen to some of the demos of it. I could, I had to turn the demos off. It originally at first sounded horrible it sounded like trash like garage band music but as mm-hmm. i appreciated the, the newer the the remastered version of it then i was able to go back and appreciate the demos even more okay good good all right A song that made you fall in love with bruce if i can go with this born to run all right well, specifically, well, not just not the song, but I'm, I went with picking that album, like Born to Run, Thunder Road, Jungle Land. Yeah. Just in a way, that entire album just did it for me. Sure. Absolutely. So take one off that record. Yeah. Great choice. Great choice. So song that changed your life. I got to say Wrecking Balls, just from hard times come and hard times go and just to come again. Cool if I'm quoting it, the lyrics, if I'm allowed legally on this podcast to quote a, a lyric. Sure, go, please. I got to go with that one. It's just with life, like time, bad times come, hard times come and go, and they just to come again. So Wrecking Ball for me would be my choice. That That spoke to you because of things you've gone through in your life? Yeah, and plus everything that's going on in the world right now. Absolutely. Hard times come and hard times go, and they just to come again. That is very well said. Um, you know, because 
you know, like, right, bring on that wrecking ball, you know, give us your best shot, Let's see what you've got, bring on that wrecking ball. And, and when the band yeah. plays it and they're that, you know, that smashing of instruments and uh, just a great, great song. I, I love that song. Yeah. What is a song that surprised you? Songs that surprised me? American Land. When I heard that live at NASA Coliseum, March 8th, 2010. Yeah. No one really knew what it was. It was just so much fun with the Irish jig and the dancing and the lyrics on the screen. It was just fun. Yeah, I think that's a great choice. I, You know, it's one of my favorite songs. I, I love... You know, for a while there, that's what he was closing the tour, you know, during that tour. That was yep, his closing that. song. And it was just and, a great way to end. Yep. And that, that giant steam in 08, he did that song right before Twist and Shout. Just in yeah. the summer, that song was just fun. Like the next night after NASA Hall Sam, my dad was like, what the heck was this song? Yeah. I mean, he told me that he had asked someone who he knew that was there. Who was happens to be a family friend, but he told us it's called American Land, and emailed my dad the lyrics, and it was just amazing. That that is great choice, great choice. All right, so this is one that you kind of you you reached out to me and said you had not heard the phrase "guilty pleasure" before, and I explained yeah. to you that that's a song that maybe you enjoy, but most people don't or that other fans may not enjoy yep. so uh, what did you end up coming up with i basically just went with the one you gave me you said you said waiting on a sunny day that one really really tricked me i'm sorry but oh, no I, it's good was, i just really couldn't think of it okay there's nothing there wrong a with that. between sunny day and bobby jean okay it was bobby just jean is a another tie, one. So, and i can only pick one I had to like yeah. flip a coin, like heads, Bobby, yeah. head, sunny day, tails, Bobby Jean, and I, landed on the coin, landed on head. So nothing wrong with that. That is a fine choice, my friend. Um, all right. We kind of talked a little bit about this, but song you wish you had seen live. All right. I'm going down. Ah, it's just okay. that fun. Tune with Max on the drum, Max's intro of it on the drums. Yeah, it's just something that just I just fell in love with. Something like I hear it all the time on all my different varieties of shows I have, but none of the live shows I've went to I've seen it. But okay, like a lot of the songs I said in my previous one that I haven't seen live that I want to, my dad has seen. Okay, good. And the last question, great song to see live. Now, the I easy answer say, is all of them, but yes. go ahead. <laughs> There's a lot of them, but the song I've had a pleasure of seeing live in the beginning to end of the River album, I'm, I got, of course, I'm circling back to that album again. Sure. Cadillac Ranch. Ah. Just with the way it goes with the drum beat, the da na 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 the da na 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 that with the horn with the with Jake or Clarence ripping on that horn in the solo in the solo in the in that introduction and just the jam of it. Yeah. And it's then just, it, it, I was gonna say, and then like at the end where they're all kind of lining up. Yeah, it's like know, the booty shaking. Yes, and everything. That is that's a great choice. Yeah, when I saw that in the Barclays Center, when yeah. I went to the show in the Barclays, this February, um, April, the April 25th of yeah. that year. Yeah, it was just the shows that was weird as jamming to. Yeah, that's that's very nice. Um, Got the whole arena was going to that. Yeah, that's great, Justin. So have you gotten any feedback on your earlier podcast? Yes, my dad liked it. Like when I told you before about my previous moments and stuff, my dad said, you should have said this. So dad, I totally forgot about it, but I told him I'm going on it again. Tell the story and, now. Yeah. All right. So I must, yes. Yeah, so I went to a show at the Netherlands during a Wrecking Ball tour. My dad's been going to see Bruce for God knows how long, longer than me. 
a yeah. giant stadium. That turn, exit 16 to the stadium off the bridge, he missed it, and we ended up in Newark Airport. Five oh, hours no. going to the stadium, going there. We had great tailgate food. It's from a great place in Long Island called Zorn's. Mm -hmm. Great, like, fried chicken and stuff. Like, it's, like, southern. But it's family, yeah. food, family, American. Yeah, so we didn't get our tailgate. And then my the turn that we, by the time we got there, we had to go right in in the show. And then it took, like, 55 minutes getting home. Wow, that's crazy. That that is so crazy. So that was a moment I'll never forget. Absolutely. What? Um. Yeah. Thank. Yeah. Yeah. I know my dad's gonna hear this one. When it's released, so thank you, Dad, for reminding me. Absolutely. Um, you, you know, I just think it's wonderful how you and your dad have that bond, that bond of getting to enjoy Bruce together. And to see the shows together. Yep. And I took it even, I'm more obsessed with Bruce. All I talk about, Dad, Bruce did this song on this show and so and mm -hmm. so and so and forth. Yeah. Like, like I bought 92 different sets of different shows. I just got the newest release from Dugnet to Fenway. Yes. Just in the mail. I'm supposed to have it, it's supposed to come, it's supposed to come Monday. This last this Monday that just passed, but it came Saturday. So I listened to it, and that was just my 92nd show in my collection. Very nice. That is great, Justin. I appreciate it. So what do you what's next? What what do you got planned for the fall? Anything big? No. Going to a Yankee game, October's the last game of the season. I just got Yankee tickets. Very nice. Home. Good. Last game of the year against Tampa Bay. Good. That could be for important. A very important. Good. Well, very nice. Well, uh, so Justin, if someone wants to reach you, uh, what's your Twitter handle? Jeter211. That's it. All right. Very nice. Well, Justin, thank you for joining me again. You're thank welcome, you. and I hope to be back again at some point again in the future. Absolutely. Thank you so much for being part of this uh, September celebration. No you know? problem. And uh, I wish you uh, the best of uh, luck and going forward. Thank you. And uh, let's stay in touch. And I'm sure I'll have you on again, my friend. Yep, I'll be on some point again. All right, listeners, you <laughs> let us know what your songs of your life would be. Reach out to me, setlustingbruce at gmail.com and join me uh, to tell your stories. But for now, please go get vaccinated. Please go take care of yourself. Remember to wear your mask. Wash your hands. Let's all be good to each other because that's how we're going to get through this. For now, thank you. And we'll talk to you soon. Goodbye. Doing a podcast at times can be a one-way conversation. And I hate that. So please let me know what you like and don't like about the work I'm doing. You can reach the podcast via email at setlustingbruce at gmail.com. The show is on Twitter at setlustingbruce, and my personal Twitter is at jessejacksondfw. We have a website, www.setlustingbruce.com. From there, you can find links to other Springsteen podcasts as well as other music themed podcasts. We have a page devoted to our own SLB All Star Band. These are guests who have been on the podcast more than three times. There is a link to our store where you can purchase Set Lessing Bruce shirts, as well as a Mary Question t-shirt. There is a link to our Patreon page where you can sign up to help support the podcast financially. We have different levels and different rewards based on your support. If you don't have any extra cash, and right now who does, you can support the podcast by subscribing via your favorite podcast player and leaving us a review. The more reviews we have, the easier it is for people to find us. And please tell a friend about the podcast, especially if they love Bruce or music, because it will make a difference. You just heard the fun talking, hard rocking, music loving, album ranking, fan thinking, joy spreading, lyric reading, story sharing podcast that is the one the only Set Listing Bruce. 
Set Listening Bruce is part of the Southgate Media Podcast Group. The theme for Set Listening Bruce was written by David Rosen, used by permission.